Brandon Hinton from uh, Louisville, Kentucky. It's a uh, 2010 Jeep Wrangler, JK. Jeep's kind of been a, an ongoing project. This build started in 2014. Uh, we've always done a lot of off-roading uh, around Kentucky. You know, we had some other vehicles before. It's got a three and a half inch metal cloak lift uh, with a one inch body, so about four and a half inches total lift. Dana Ultimate 44 uh, front axle with Eat knee locker, uh, 488 gears, uh, Tom Woods drive shafts. Got a DV8 front bumper with a worn uh, VR 10S winch, um, KC lights. Metal cloak uh, steering, AFE uh, rock crawler exhaust with uh, poison spider sliders, poison spider skids, uh, EVAP skids, and uh, differential covers underneath. We're running inside of it, running an Odyssey battery with a C Pro fuse block. When it comes to overlanding, you see Jeeps built a lot of different directions. This Jeep is built kind of beefier with the off road sense than some of the others might be. A lot of the trails that we do on this, some of it is four low, locked, pretty tough rock gardens and stuff of that nature. But mainly just because of the terrain that we've got with a lot of the mud, it's not dry, you don't have a lot of traction. Uh, it's got a rugged ridge uh, accessory bar with ram mounts, run a, a Garmin inReach, uh, an iPad mount to run our uh, maps. Run a, just a Bofeng ham radio and then a, uh, you know, just a normal, a normal CB handheld there. Here in the back, we just run a, a two-drawer ARB system here and an ABR frid with a, a Dobson slide. We've kind of got this build up, put our table underneath here, which is, which is out. There's a, a charging station over there, which is our USB and, uh, and power outlets and, and stuff of that nature. Deviate uh, a rear bumper, then running a, a, a pinnel hitch for the, uh, for the trailer. Uh, the trailer's a 1965 uh, M416 trailer. Redid the frame on it, extended the tongue out uh, about 22 inches, gives a little bit more room for the tailgate to slide. It's got a uh, rear bumper that's a uh, weld-on bumper for a Jeep TJ, a spinnable table for, for the stove, a power tank mount for a five pound propane tank, uh, leveling sea jacks, uh, magma grill, our off-road elements, fenders, 37 inch tires on uh, Mamba wheels. It's running a uh, Rancho two and a half inch lift with Rancho shocks, Rancho uh, lift springs. Uh, running the, uh, the stock M416 axle with uh, an adapter kit on it. Uh, kind of a low profile uh, rooftop tent, a Smitty Belt tent. It does have a solar system on it and uh, we run one single deep cycle battery with two 100 watt solar panels that we can use. Just run a, a machine tarp cover, a PVC cover, everything else. We've kept the the back of it in intact. We see a lot of them put the tailgates in, so we're kind of just loading everything in the back. Uh, the inside is all uh, rhino lined, and the uh, fenders are rhino lined, uh, bumpers are rhino lined, and then the uh, paint is uh, Jeep Rescue Green to, to match the rest of the Jeep. The trailer goes a lot of places that uh, people don't expect to see us pulling a trailer. Axle width matched, you know, it's, it's low slung. Um, we've actually rolled it a couple times and, you know, the pinnel hits, we can just turn it back over and, and keep on going. Uh, the longest trip we've done was 3,300 miles or about seven days. I'd say our average trip is probably around 700 to 800. Uh, if there's one thing that I, that I couldn't do without would probably be the ARB fridge. You know, after years of hauling around a cooler and having to get ice, you don't realize how nice that is until you go on a, a seven, 10 day trip and you're not worried about ice. You don't have to worry about civilization, you know, as long as you got gas. Something that, you know, you always wanted it, but then now that you have it, you just, you just feel like you can't do without it.